In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. In your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 8, verses 14 through to 22. Now when Jesus had come to Peter's house, he saw his wife's mother lying sick with a fever. So he touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she arose and served them. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word, and healed all who were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. And when Jesus saw great multitudes about him, he gave a command to depart to the other side. Then a certain scribe came and said to him, Teacher, I'll follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Then another of his disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me, and let the dead bury their own dead. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be faithful followers of yours. In the scripture reading today from St. Matthew, there's two sections. The first part, there's a subheading, it says, Power over all infirmities. And the second part of this reading, Unconditional loyalty. Now, power over all infirmities. We read at the beginning of this reading how Jesus came to Peter's house. He found that his wife's mother was lying sick with a fever. Jesus just touched her hand and the fever left her. And she rose got up and started to serve them. Now while he was also at Peter's house, many people came who were demon-possessed and Jesus cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. He did this that it might fulfill the prophecy of Isaiah saying he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Yes, Jesus takes from us our infirmities. He bears our sicknesses. He bears our sins. So much so, he gave himself totally to us by dying on the cross for our sins. Then in the second part of the reading, he talks about unconditional loyalty. Yes. A scribe came up to him and said, Teacher, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus said to him, Foxes have no holes, and birds of the air nest, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And then another one came and said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me and let the dead bury their own dead. 
Many people might think this is a bit cold. But someone who just read was healing sick people. But no. Unconditional loyalty. We must be loyal to Christ. Loyal to his teachings. Let everything else go. Yes. Let the dead bury their own dead. Let the dead bury their own dead. The dead of this world who have refused to accept Christ. Yes. Are dead. Loyalty to Christ is unconditional loyalty is what's required. Unconditional loyalty in following Christ is so important. Not to put other things in front of Christ, ahead of Christ. Unconditional. I urge you all to pray, to think about this. Where does your loyalty stand? Where does it stand? And when you pray, pray to the Holy Spirit to help you understand where you place your loyalty. And give God the glory for all the blessings he bestows upon you. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, Save us. Amen.